5. Apple Mac Mini with M1. The latest version of the Apple Mac Mini may look unchanged from its predecessors, but there's a revolution hiding inside. The Apple M1 processor. It's Apple's first big step away from using Intel processors in Macs. The new chip offers a surprising amount of power, taking on more expensive Intel Core i3 and Core i5 systems, and coming out the victor. Paired with Apple's Mac OS Big Sur and Rosetta 2, it'll run pretty much anything you need it to, as long as it's not Windows. It's not a perfect desktop. A smaller port selection and support for only two displays is a real letdown, but the overall value you get in the new Mac Mini is more than we ever expected for the new, more affordable price. Highly recommended mini computer. Number 4. Azul Access 3 The Azul Access 3 takes our favorite tiny stick PC and makes it even better, with a compact design that's almost small enough to put on a keychain and flexible enough to be used with any monitor or TV. The Access 3 gets a faster processor, speedier USB 3.0 ports, and adds gigabit Ethernet for better performance and connectivity than any other stick PC we've reviewed. The Zippy performance even supports 4K video output, making it great for streaming. Whether it's for use in your home theater, powering digital signage, or just giving you a way to watch Netflix on your hotel TV, the Access 3 presses forward in a form factor that larger manufacturers have largely forgotten. The Azul Access 3 is our new favorite stick PC and the best mini PC you can slip into your pocket. Number 3. Intel Hades Canyon NUC Intel's Hades Canyon NUC is a mini PC that delivers desktop gaming grade performance in a chassis that's about the size of a book. Thanks to its Intel Core i7-8009G and AMD Radeon RX Vega MGH hybrid chip, which combines processing and discrete graphics on a single chip, the Hades Canyon NUC can handle AAA games and VR in a small black brick that can be tucked into a backpack or added to a home entertainment center. Despite its small size, the Hades Canyon NUC is loaded with ports, including Thunderbolt 3 ports and HDMI output. If you buy the bare bones kit, you'll need to provide memory and storage and your own installation of Windows, but this pint-sized gaming machine can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with an NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti-powered gaming tower, and it even handled a bit of VR. It's the best mini PC you can get for gaming without compromise. Number 2. Intel NUC 9 Pro The Intel NUC 9 Pro is a workstation mini PC that offers huge power and a surprising amount of upgradability. A workstation desktop isn't an uncommon offering in the PC world as they're the standard for many computationally demanding uses, ranging from architecture to animation. What is unusual is to see that level of performance packed into a tiny design that's smaller than a 5-liter SFF desktop. Throw in room for huge amounts of RAM, added drives, and up to an 8-inch graphics card, and the Intel NUC 9 Pro is a rare beast indeed. And that's before discussing Intel's innovative Compute Element motherboard, which weds the modularity of the motherboard with the built-in cooling and self-contained design of a GPU to create a unique basis for a truly potent PC. Add it all up, and it's definitely the best workstation available in many PCs today. Number 1. Dell Optiplex 7070 Ultra the Dell Optiplex 7070 Ultra is one of the tiniest mini PCs we've ever reviewed, with a design that's much smaller than the likes of the Apple Mac Mini, but without the compromises that come with a stick PC like the Azul Access 3. But what's most striking about this particular PC is how well the Optiplex 7070 Ultra goes beyond being easy to hide and simply disappears into your desktop setup. When you think of an innovative computer design, mini PCs and all-in-one desktops probably aren't where your mind turns. But the Dell Optiplex 7070 Ultra manages to do just that, remixing the all-in-one concept with a shockingly slim design that slots into a specially designed monitor stand, transforming the accompanying monitor into a highly capable office all-in-one. You'll discover that the Dell Optiplex 7070 Ultra reimagines the office PC as a system that is at once modular and exceedingly sleek and clean. Now that we've shown you the best mini computers, let's talk about a few things you should look for before buying one. Processor and Memory A mini PC needs a processor powerful enough to handle basic web browsing, light photo editing, and any office programs you use. With the exception of our budget contenders and the Mac Mini, all the PCs in our test group have a 9th or 10th generation Intel Core i5 processor or a 3rd generation AMD Ryzen processor. We recommend at least 8GB of RAM for browsing the web and handling basic productivity tasks. If you spend lots of time in heavy-duty apps like Adobe Photoshop, Lightroom, or Premiere, or if you regularly edit several large spreadsheets or databases at a time, you may benefit from 16 gigabytes. 
You can upgrade the RAM in any of our picks if you decide you need more. We were lenient on this component for budget models, which usually cap out at 4GB of RAM, but you can often upgrade that to 8GB or even 16GB for $80 or less if you do it yourself. Storage A spinning hard drive can bog down an otherwise speedy computer, so a solid-state drive is a requirement here. A 256GB SSD should be available as a standard feature, and upgrading the storage or adding a second drive later should be easy. Budget picks usually come with less, but Chrome OS relies more on cloud storage than Windows or Mac OS, so local storage isn't as big of a deal for a Chromebox.